Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! You're about to see why I was torn whether or not I wanted to do this this part. Because you see, it is a boss rush of doom, and well, the see the rabbits that we've seen at the other area? Not the only rabbits that have come from the dark side of the moon. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> They're back! Or should I say they never left? <laughs> so, what if you stop the wedding? You can't stop me! You can't stop any of us! Brutals! Come on, let's see you try! Bring it! On and this is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> so yeah, you know the deal with Topper here. Gotta get him off with tats and then jump on his header. But except there's a little bit of an issue called low gravity going on here now, which kinda kinda changes things quite a bit in terms of timing and stuff like that. So you might wanna be careful with that. <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to be extra careful here because we've actually got to do all the bosses straight in a row. So try to be careful here. <laughs> just saying. Because, yeah, we don't have that much energy. Well, there is actually a way to get a little extra energy. It's a kind of a secret. And I'm going to show it after this boss, but it's still, you know, you're still dealing with still dealing with low energy in general that you have to deal with, yeah, for a good amount of this. You just want to kind of kind of get your practice in to be careful when you're battling these bad boys, you know? You know? <laughs> uh, I couldn't find the right one. Anyway, that's okay. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna do your swing-a-ding! <laughs> it's a lot of hats you got on there, Topper. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad there is low gravity for that one. That would be a lot a lot more difficult to time my jump rope over the hats of doom there. I'm glad the range is, is showing nicely over there. It's not, that, it's not that bad. Bad, yeah, you can stun him if, you, if he's doing that spinny thingy there, but it's he goes so quickly and you're trying to get out of the way, it's kind of hard to... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 that's not good. <laughs> so many hats. So many hats. Alright. Huh. <laughs> so, as you can see, we don't get any health for that. But, you actually can right now, if I recall correctly at this point. If you actually leave and come back in, like you go out this way. I do believe, if I remember correctly, there is a little bit of a health upgrade back through here somewhere, I thought. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think that was it. There it is! Yeah! <laughs> And now we can go back and finish off the rest of them. You can actually do that after each dealio, so it's not quite a boss rush like a typical boss rush in that you can't heal, but it's kind of a pain to go ahead and heal. But yeah, I forgot that was actually hidden in one of those veggies. But yeah, as you see, the topper is already beat, so let's go ahead and take on Harriet now. Now. Of course, if you die, you'll have to restart them all from the beginning, so you probably do want to go back to the bottom to get that life apart, you know, if uh, if need be, just saying, <laughs> like, like midway through each time, and yeah, if you need to. Hi guys. Again. Oh, it's you. Not the nice barging into our kingdom like you own the place. What? You didn't know this is where we live? Guess I still got things to teach ya! And I know I misread that first part, I know. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so we gotta wait for 
the bombs of doom. And well, uh, it'd be in a better position for that too. That that would help as well, you know. <laughs> One. Yeah, there we go. And don't forget your oh ground pound timing. Mm, oh jeez. Well, I guess I could stun you a little bit there. That'll help things as well. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have focused on that to begin with, but anyway. Alright, so we're gonna try and eliminate a cycle here, if possible. Yeah, there we go! Ha ha ha! Just kind of clear things out nice and quick, if at all possible. Trying to make things as easy as possible for the sake of keeping our energy up to the max. Aww, oh, exploded a little early. Look! Oh, that was way off. <laughs> Well, fine, I'll just wait for this. It's, that's fine as well. Wow, that was actually... Oh! I was too close! I was too close! Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, my dumb mistakes. I swear to Arceus. Alright. And now we wait. So yeah, as you can see, this is why I didn't want to do this at the uh, end of the last part, because it's going to take a while to do. Probably. Like, even with the heart life up hard trick that I got there. Not really the sp not really the speediest of things to do, dang it. Maybe I should just wait for her to do the spinning move. <laughs> yeah, something something like that. It seems like the, the better choice. And there we go. That's what I was trying to do before, but I was too slow because I was not anticipating the gravity, which is bad. Very, very bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she is done. Let's collect some coins. But unfortunately, no heart exists over here. But it does back over here. Get the idea? <laughs> so yeah, this boss rush thingy is actually pretty easy if you do that. So yeah, I, I did challenge myself to do this with just three hearts and was able to successfully do it, but it is hard to get the hang of the low gravity and the tons and tons of randomness that these bosses have. So yeah, it took me a bunch of attempts to actually pull it off, but it's definitely doable. And But th what, what does stink though is that every time... Well, th is that every time you take damage or something like that and you want to heal, you gotta go all the way back to the bottom, then all the way back up here, but it does make it a whole lot easier, so this is a method that you can use if you aren't planning on doing this with just the life apart or even at a three hard challenge, so Alright, next up I believe it's Spewert, which is definitely the easiest of the bunch. How's it going? Ha! Our home here is fine and all, but I'm ready for my own ship! Yours! Oh yeah, the Odyssey Odyssey is gonna fit me real good once I've kicked you to the curb! Bring it, my belching buddy! get that right off the bat. <laughs> Knock its head out. Yeah, it's not all that much different here. As you can tell there. Yeah, well, well of course, you still gotta still gotta aim properly here. That's kind of a kind of a factor. <laughs> the crop bounce. And we begin again. Oh yeah, you can re redirect the hat however which way you please. But more more importantly than anything, you probably just wanna clear the gunk on the ground to give yourself some more room, you know? <laughs> and knock off oh no 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 I was gonna say knock off the hat immediately but no 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 not gonna happen with your art project this time there we go looking smooth so far and we go again actually I could probably just like wait around here pro well, maybe not I don't know. yeah yeah I could wait around here because he goes in the Illuminati formation we don't touch anything <laughs> Alright, last phase, that's a lot of goo, tons and tons of goo, that does not hurt you, see, easiest set of three, woo, well, easiest of three thus far, Rango is up next, and, well, hopefully I've 
won't take damage, so I don't have to go down to the bottom. Well, technically, I never have to go back down to the bottom, but just for the sake of making things nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember how I found that heart. I think I, I think I was, I think I decided, like, after a, an attempt or two, and I have a too low of health, I was like, ah, maybe I'll go back to this later and explore around the ridge to see if I could find stuff or something like that. And I ended up throwing my hat on stuff and found that. And I was like, oh, well now I can go to the bosses at double health. And then I was like, oh, the bosses that I defeated were already defeated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final. Brutal. <laughs> Gotta say, old time, you're perfect as perfect gets. Did everything Bowser wanted, and you mucked it up. No one will hire us now. So guess what? You're gonna pay for all of it. Nah, not really. This is gonna be pretty easy, actually. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna flip your hat around and ground pound that, and I'll try and get myself in position with the low gravity. There we go. Nice and smooth. And I see you're having a happy time with that saw there. Good <laughs> low gravity makes it a little bit trickier, and yes, I could still land on him to skip that cycle, but not really the easiest thing to pull off in low gravity, so you might want to skip that entirely. And here we go... Number two. Good to go. And we go again. Oh geez, just bait them around basically. And hope that you don't have too much issue. Alright. And I'm going to prepare myself with a hat throw ahead of time. There we go. Did that work? Okay, I was going to say, I didn't know, didn't know if I was on the hat enough there. Alright! Four out of four! Done! This boss rush is completed. <sighs> so now let's go up to the top. And say goodbye to this place, because it took us a while. But you'll notice on the way up there, actually, there's a, there's a toad coming up. And it's got a heart for us, you know, to, to help us recover. At least I, th I thought it was a toad over here somewhere. Hmm, and maybe it's not... And maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Uh, anyway, over here... Oh yeah, there is Captain Toad! <laughs> I was on an extreme flaky walk when I walked up on here somehow. So it wasn't a... Wouldn't you know it? I found the moon power mode along the way, and it's all yours, Explorer! <laughs> so yeah, was, okay, it wasn't a heart, it was a moon. So I got these confused. <laughs> ah, I wonder what's up top. I wonder indeed. So let's go up on the pipe, and this is a big carrot, by the way, if you couldn't tell from a distance. Alrighty, uh-oh. It's not over! It's not over! <laughs> Robo Brood is back! And we got the low gravity. And I do believe we don't have the Pokios to boot, but since we have, you know, low gravity, we can kinda jump up there as we please, so let's do it! Everything at once! Right here, right now! Yeah, there's Hammer Bros, but. Well, maybe, maybe I should grab one, just for the sake of, yeah. Then I can attack the leggers, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. But, you know, getting up top using the hammer bro, not the easiest. So you probably want to go and... Oh, shoot, that's not a good start. So you probably want to go and get yourself set up back to Mario after it gets off balance and stuff like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and do some fancy schmancy hops here, get up to the top, and be sure that you ground pound. Ground pounding is by far the fastest way to knock those baddies out for a loop. Got it? Good. Alright, another hammer bro, and let's go again. See the trick to this is that since you don't have the pokeos, you've gotta actually deal with this a different way using the hammer bro and that's that's kind of the trick to making this even harder than it was before because you got to be 
a lot closer than you were before. See, before you would just poke those bombs right into the legs, but now, oh no, 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 you've got to be right in their attack range while bombs are coming down at you. And, you know, you got your limited health dealio going on as well if you're doing the three heart challenge, but, you know, I kind of showed you a little trick to this. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Just kind of nicking away at those leggers. Oh, there we go, there we go. And it fell off to that side. Let's get... Oh, shoot, that's not what I was going for. Well, that's okay. Still got a decent recovery there. Boink! Awesome-tastic. Hammer bro! Ninja! Respawn really quick. They're going into phase two. <laughs> Oh no! Not good. Not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Yeah, they do a little. They back up and do like a little charge dealio. So you have time to react as long as you keep walking away from them and yeah. And oh, I'm not aimed correctly. Got to Trying to rush it. There we go. <laughs> and now we have. Oh shoot. <laughs> the low gravity just keeps throwing me off, man. And now we have a different formation to get up before it recovers. Yes, we can do this. This boss rush is not impossible. In fact, it's kind of hard to call it a boss rush since you can, since you can heal so readily. <laughs> oh, the sparklers. Not the sparklers. Anything but the spinning sparklers. They kind of home in on you, that's why. <laughs> Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, jeez. Yep. Should probably try and get behind it, if any, if at all possible. Okay, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. It's sparkling again. <laughs> it's a, they're a lot more unpredictable than the bombs. Oh, God, every sparkler go away. I mean, yes, they do home in on you, but I mean from their starting position. At least, at least with the bombs, you know, you can see their shadow and you got a lot of time to get out of the way and stuff. Oh! See that? I almost, almost took a, took a little nick from one. We're okay. We are still okay. And the leggers are almost down once again. Alright. We'll kick up to the top-ish. Alright! Yeah! Yeah! I'm really glad I remembered that there was a life apart around there somewhere. Because <laughs> this, this really is kind of a nightmare to do with only three hearts. Or even six hearts for that matter. Whew. Like if you went to another kingdom to life up your hearts and then came back here, yeah. Triple moon in my pocket and will soon be inserted into the moon god's insatiable demands. Arrival at Rabbit Ridge is done. Took a while, didn't it? <laughs> Alright. What the? When did I get? I didn't. Uh, what? I, uh, huh, 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 huh. Yeah, beating this boss rush, you get the king's crown, crown and king's outfit. We're here on a big expedition! <laughs> we only, there's only Captain Toad here before, so I don't know if you'd say we. But now, now there's doors around here. <laughs> I'm gonna do one of them before the part ends, hopefully. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do this one. Oh, we're at regular gravity, that's right. Um, This one is absolutely horrendous to do. <laughs> First of all, you don't have your hat, so you don't, you can't take over the bonsai bills like we did before, you know, to get the one underneath the uh, area. Like, oh, oh shoot, I didn't mean... Sorry, I don't have my hat. <laughs> What's happening? As I was saying it. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, um, the, the moon that's under here, we, we've been here before, but things are so much different without your hat, because you can't control that bonsai bill to get that moon inside that hole. So, there's like an extra super difficult challenge going on here for those who dare 
And, well, it's not really even... I, mean, I don't even need to bother with that one there. I'm just gonna go... Oh, no! And I even mistimed my dive. I was gonna say, I, I shouldn't even bother going back to get that moon at first, because the main challenge here, since they're going for 100%, is actually getting that moon underneath. And how you get that moon underneath is you see all those little blocks down the center line here? You've gotta long jump them the whole way through, and the timing is so precise, it's like Kaizo Odyssey of Doom. Alright, let's get everything set up here and prepare to long jump to the edge, to the edge of the edge, and oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Wait, it did that? Oh, it did, I thought it didn't follow me for a second there. Holy mother of Arceus, how did I do that on my first shot? <laughs> I had so much trouble with Breakdown Road. Final challenge before... The... Oh... How... Every, it's like every time I say it, there's something ridiculously hard. I just managed to pull it off on my first try. Maybe it's because I put more concentration into it. Like I don't get overconfident like I would <laughs> on the other ones. And this one is for getting the key. Breakdown road, hurry! And yeah, that... I don't know if you've seen what I was doing back there, but what you're supposed to do on those little blocks down there is long jump at the very edge of the block, land at the very edge of the block, and then long jump at the very edge of the block again. So it's like everything is just so perfectly spaced that it's very easy to undershoot the jump and then just kind of, you know, fall into the cloudy abyss of doom. So, yeah, I don't do not underestimate this one. I mean, <laughs> made it look a lot easier than it actually was. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here because there's more challenges like that on the moon. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part when I explore said challenges of doom on the moon. That sort of kind of rhymes. It's close enough. You can kind of kind of ad-lib the uh, pronunciation of things if you're making a song just to make it sound good.